the builder design pattern uh, provides a solution for the following problem. How to simplify the process of creating a new object, a process that includes uh, a part of the instantiation of the relevant class, includes invocation of various methods that configure the new object, um, connect it with other objects, uh, create kind of a graph of objects, um, and eventually um, make that object representing uh, what we intend for it to represent. Well, in order to simplify the process and kind of encapsulate the whole process of invoking those various methods uh, uh, on a new created object in a way that will allow us um, just to specify what kind of object we want to get and automatically get uh, instantiation of the class and invocation of various methods with various arguments on the new object so that the new object will represent a family car as in this code sample for example. The solution for this problem is the builder design pattern which is actually about uh, defining an abstract builder, a class with uh, abstract methods, each one of them responsible for uh, uh, for part of the building of the new object building um, and then define new classes that extend this uh, abstract class and implement each and every uh, one of those abstract methods. This way we just need to select the builder we want to work with and then call those uh, methods that were already defined in the abstract class. Here in this code sample we pass over the text family, meaning we ask uh, to get a, an object that describes a family car and then here we can see that uh, because the text that was sent is the text uh, family, the builder, the selected builder is a family car builder. If the text was a sport, then the builder was another object. Once the builder is set, then there will be the invocation of those uh, methods inherited from the abstract builder, so that eventually we shall get an object that represents, in this case, represents a family car. If we execute the code, this is the output.